And what about the certifications? So there are several certifications from MyroTIC. So this graph is showing all the available certifications. So you can see that the basic one is the MyroTIC Certified Network Associate. That certification is the base for all the remaining certifications. So you want to take any of the other certifications, you must have the MTCNA. And then we have some specialized certifications. For example, here we have MTCRE, that's for routing, and specifically for OSPF and some VPNs. For example, this one, the MTCRE, that's for OSPF, VPMs. Then we have MTCINE, that's for BGP, MPLS, and traffic engineering. Then we have the traffic control. We have this one for switching, security, IPv6, user management, enterprise wireless, and then wireless for ISPs. So basically, the idea is that you are going to take the MTCNA, that the basic that is going to have a little bit of everything, but then you can pick one specialization. So for example, if you are interested in the wireless technology, probably you can go with the MTCWE or MTCEWE. The first one is intended for ISPs or service providers. The second one for enterprise networks, campus-like networks, and so on and so forth. It's important to mention that to get a certification from MyroTIC, every student must attend an in-person training. And then the exam must be in person with a MyRotic certified trainer. If you live in Canada, you can go to our website and then you can check the schedule that we have here in the country. And then you can attend one of our trainings and then you can take the exam. If you are in a different country, then you need to go to MyRotic.com. So we'll see how we are going to do that. And we are going to look for the trainers that are near to your city. So let's go now to the browser. If I go to myrotic.com and then we can go to training. You can see here the schedule, different training sessions in different continents, different countries. But if we go to the about section, then here you will find all the outline for every Myrotic certification. So this course is gonna cover all the topics for MTCNA. So this is the basic one. So you can see here the outline and you can do the same for all the remaining certifications. So for example, if I open the outline, this is going to show me all the topics. So you can see here, this is a three day training course. You will find all the topics. We'll go one by one in this course. But if you need to take the official certification exam, you must attend an in-person training with a MyRotic trainer. So here we have the frequent questions. So you can see, for example, how many questions are in the test. There are 25 questions, the time to take the exam, that is one hour, and so on and so forth. So you can get all the information for these certifications here. If you are in Canada, then you can go to myroticktraining.ca and you will get the schedule from my company and then you will be attending one of my in-person classes in one of the cities here in Canada. So this is about the certifications with MyRotic products. There are several products from MyRotic, but basically we can identify two families. And one is software and the second one is hardware. Let's go to the official website, myrotic.com, and we can easily identify the solution by going to the main menu. So you can see here hardware and we can see software. We're talking about software, we are talking about router OS. So that's the main operating system from MyRotic. And I said main. And that's because there is another operating system that is called SwitchOS. But that is not going to be covered in this course. But some devices will have SwitchOS installed on it. So that's simply a different flavor, uh, an operating system that is intended only for switching. This course will be covering router OS. There are several versions of router OS. The most recent version is the version 7. There are several devices running the version 6 in the market, but now, as you can see here in the website, the latest version is the version 7. But also we can get the second latest version, that is version 6. 
But additionally, there is a virtual device that is the cloud hosted router, the one that we have installed in our virtual environment. So we can see that here as well. And then underneath the CHR, we can see SwitchOS and SwitchOS Lite. That operating system won't be covering this course. So that's about the software. Additionally, there is another application that is called Winbox. That's an application, something like this one that I have installed here on my PC. We we'll learn how to install that one in one of the upcoming classes. But basically, this application is called Winbox, and it's an application that will establish a connection to manage that router. So we'll be managing those devices by using the Winbox. There are some additional applications like the bandwidth test. There is a small application that we can use to test the uh, speed in our network. So we'll be doing that in one of the labs that is coming in the next sections. So that's about the software. And we go to hardware. So here we have all the product categories. So you can see we have Ethernet routers, we have switches, wireless systems, LTE, 5G products. We have IoT devices. We have wireless for all the different standards for Wi-Fi for 60 gigahertz. We have interfaces for optical fiber and so on and so forth. So in this section is where you are going to find information about all the hardware. And those products will have router OS installed on them by default. Some of those devices will have switch OS as well. So let's pick one of these products, for example, the Hub AX2. So you can see here, this is a, a device that is intended for a small office, home office. That's a Soho device. So you can get an overview about the device. You can see the uh, specifications over here. Wireless capabilities, Ethernet, power options, PoE information to provide power to devices that are connected via Ethernet. All the certifications that apply to that specific device. So basically, this is about the products. If we go to the second tab, support and downloads. So here we can get uh, information about the device. Something pretty cool here is the block diagram. So basically, it's going to show the architecture inside the device. So for example, for that device, if I click in open, this is going to show me how that device is going to work internally. So we can see that the device is going to have 5 gigabit Ethernet interfaces that are connected to one chip. So it's going to be a chip switch that is connected to a bus with 5 gigabit per second in speed. We can see that there are two wireless cards. That is for 2.4 gigahertz, and the second one is for 5 gigahertz. And then we have the CPU and some additional information about the storage. So every device is going to have that block diagram. This is pretty important to understand when we are selecting a specific product to fit a specific scenario. And that's what Migrotic has in the market. Hardware and software with a pretty high performance and pretty low price. In our next class, we'll talk about router OS. We'll go deeper looking for all the features available for us. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.